Hello. In today's video, I will be discussing with you how you can calculate your oblation and your fertile window. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ifechuku Pudensiana Okachuku. I'm a registered nurse, a midwife, and a family planning provider. My channel focuses on everything about health, especially family planning, sexual and reproductive health. So, if this is the kind of content you like, please hit the subscribe button, follow my page, and keep watching. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate you. Let's go. Oblation is the release of an egg from the ovary. Fertile window is the number of days in a woman's menstrual cycle that she is most likely to get pregnant. The word most, most likely to get pregnant. And menstrual cycle is the time from the first day of your menstrual flow to a day before the next menses. Now, how do we calculate ovulation and your fertile window? For you to talk about calculating your ovulation and your fertile window, you must know your menstrual cycle length. And at this point, if you have not watched my video on how to calculate menstrual cycle length, please pause. Go watch the video and then come back. So now, let's assume that this person is a 27 days average cycle length. And she saw her last menses on 2nd of July. This is July calendar 2023. So let's assume that she saw her menses last on 2nd of July, which is day one of her cycle. So this is 2nd of July. She saw her menses last on 2nd of July. And she's a 27 days average cycle length. So this is day one of her cycle. Day one of her cycle. On the third is the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, the eighteen. Day 19, day 20, day 21, day 22, day 23, day 24, day 25, day 26, day 27. So another cycle for this person will be from 28, 29 of July for this person. So now this person is a 27 days average cycle length and her last menstrual period was on 2nd of July. That was the day one of her cycle following the definition of menstrual cycle from the first day of your menstrual flow to a day before the next menses. You have to minus 14 from your average cycle length. So this person is 27 days average cycle length. 27 days minus 14. You will have 13, 13. We minus 14 from 27 because Menses occurs 14 days from ovulation, irrespective of your cycle. Whether you are 21 days cycle, 22, 30, 35, 29, 28. Any day you see your menses counts 14 days back. That was the day you ovulated. It doesn't change. Understand me very well. Menses occurs 14 days after ovulation, irrespective of your cycle. So you have to minus 14 from your menstrual cycle length. 
whether you are 30, 35, 28, 27, 21, 22, 24, minus 14 days. So for this person now, 27 minus 14 will have 13. In other words, she is expected to ovulate on the 13th day of her cycle, plus and minus two days. This is very important. Plus and minus two days. This plus and minus two days is like a standard reason because it's not a must. It's not certain that you will ovulate on your expected day. Either for one reason or the other. It may be, you may decide to ovulate. The egg may decide to be released either a day before the expected day or a day after. So plus and minus two days is the standard. So this person that has 27 days average cycle length is expected to ovulate on the 13th day of her cycle, plus and minus two days, meaning that she can ovulate on the 11th day, on the 12th day, on the 14th day, or on the 15th day. So now, let's get the 13th day of her cycle. When you look at the day one, which is 2nd of uh, July, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is the 13th of her cycle the 13 of her cycle so plus and minus two days meaning here on the 12th on the 13th on the 11th day on the 12th day on the 14th day of her of her cycle and on the 15th day of her cycle this is your ovulation period now how do you calculate your fertile window when we talk about fertile window, fertile window is the number of days in a woman's menstrual cycle when she is most likely to get pregnant. Now, fertile window, we know that sperm lasts for about three to five days in woman body. Now, for you to calculate your fertile window, you have to add plus five to the least ovulation day. The least ovulation day is day 11 which is on the 12th of july so when you do plus and minus two days the first plus is the least day of ovulation you now add plus five because sperm is expected to last in a human body for three to five days so because you are ovulating on the 13th day of your cycle plus and minus two days if you have had sex with your partner Maybe four days before or three days before the least day of your ovulation, you are most likely to get pregnant. So because of that, you now add five days to the least ovulation day. Let's do it. You count it back. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So from the sixth day of her cycle to the 15th day of her cycle is her fertile window. This is for a 27 days average cycle length. Now, the same thing is applicable to 28. You just minus 14 days from 28. You will, you, you will not get 14 days. Meaning that for a 28 days average cycle length, she's expected to ovulate on the 14th day, plus and minus two days. Which means from the 12th day of her cycle to 16th day of her cycle is her ovulation period. Now, if you want to calculate the fertile window, in case you are trying to achieve pregnancy or avoid pregnancy, you have to add the five days to the least expected day of ovulation to your ovulation days. Whether you are 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 35, the formula is the same. That was why I said you must know your average menstrual cycle before you will now think of calculating your ovulation days and your fertile period. Know your menstrual cycle length before calculating your ovulation and fertile window.
let me do another one with a cycle days of 21. A 21 days average cycle length. When you minus 14 days from 21, you will have 7 days. Meaning that she is expected to ovulate on the 7th day of her cycle. This is 7th day of her cycle here. Plus and minus 2 days. That is... She may, she may ovulate on the 5th, on the 6th, on the 8th, or on the 9th. So she's likely to ovulate on the 5th, on the 6th, on the 8th day, or on the 9th day. Now, when you add the plus 5, because of the number of days sperm last in woman body, when you add the plus 5 to the least day of ovulation, we have here the 4th day, the 3rd day, The second day, the first day. Now, it means that for people who have short cycles, they usually ovulate while they are menstruating. That is why I say that our oh, menses occurs 14 days after ovulation, irrespective of your cycle. People with short cycle are always confused because of this. I will repeat again. Know your average cycle length before you are talking of calculating your ovulation. It's very important. You can pause the video, rewind, watch it again, get a paper, get a pen, do the calculation yourself. You don't need to be confused about it. Whatever your menstrual cycle length is, the formula is the same. Do it gradually. If you don't understand it, watching the video for the first time, watch it again. Rewind, pause, go back. You will understand it. So that someone is menstruating doesn't mean she cannot ovulate, depending on her cycle. People with 21 days average cycle, usually of late while they are still menstruating. So this is how you are going to calculate your ovulation days and your fertile window. So that you don't get maybe you know you don't have to give chances at all if you are trying to avoid pregnancy. But if you want to achieve pregnancy this is also what you are going to use to actually know the days you are fertile to have unprotected sexual intercourse with the opposite partner. So this is how you are going to calculate it. Even if you are 22 days average cycle, minus 14 days from 22, you have 8. So you are expected to ovulate on the 8th day of your cycle. Do the same thing. Even if you are 35 days, even if you are 30 days, if you are 30 days, minus 14 days from 30 days, meaning you have 16. So you are expected to ovulate on the 16th day of your cycle, plus and minus 2 days. Then for you to get your fertile window, you have to add 5 days to the least ovulation days because of the number of days sperm lasts in the human body. I hope this helps. Because it's very simple the way I have explained it. Watch it over and over and over again. You will understand it. I promise you. You will. The released egg lasts for about 12 to 24 hours. That is why ovulation day is just for one day. Before you know it, it dies off. So, take note of that. So, at this point... If you have not clicked the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and then like my page, depending on where you are watching me from, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, any platform, please hit the follow button, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, very important, share. Until I see you again in my next video, please. 
do take care of yourself and i wish you self journey for those who are trying to achieve pregnancy i wish you well and please drink plenty of 